Welcome to the Pastor's Corner. I'm Father Dan Leary, the pastor of St. Andrew Apostle. This is our first attempt at the Pastor's Corner. And what we're venturing to try to accomplish by the Pastor's Corner is maybe an invitation for you to grow in your faith, maybe an opportunity for you to go a little deeper into the journey of faith by our, through our Catholic faith. This past weekend, the church celebrated the Feast of the Epiphany, the encounter of the three wise men, the three wise guys, as religious sisters taught us, came to encounter the presence of the living God. Non-believers coming from a foreign country, they encounter the living God, and immediately they bend the knee in the presence of the Son of God. That bent knee, a sign of worship, not only impelled them to worship Christ, but they actually left their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But instead of returning the same way, the path of unbelieving, they returned another way. Scripture says they went back a different path. The church has been inspired to believe that that was their conversion, their metanoia, their change of path. You and I, every time we encounter the presence of God through the sacraments, through commun Holy Communion, through penance, to the reality of the journey that God of grace that we receive, it's an opportunity for us to go a different way, to leave behind the old man of sin, and to go and live the new life of the baptismal grace that we received. This week coming up, the church celebrates the feast of the baptism of the Lord. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, enters the water and is baptized by John the Baptist. He enters the water not because he is a sinner, but he enters the water to purify the water, to make the water holy, so that when you and I and every child and adult that enters into the baptismal waters, the waters are made clean by the presence of Christ, having entered them and purified them. So we come out a new child, a new man, a new woman. Baptism offers us three opportunities of grace. First of all, it regenerates us. It makes us a new man, a new woman. Number two, it cleanses of, of original sin. We are no longer the same person after baptism. And number three, we are joined to the mystical body of Christ. It is like this. As an unbaptized child, I say I all the time. As a baptized child, I say we, because I'm part of the body of Christ. It is my hope through this pastor's corner that you will grow in your faith. You may feel inclined to invite another person to come to the pastor's corner to deepen their knowledge of the grace of baptism. But in any event, what it's our hope is that you and I grow in our faith journey. Come see us at